I did have some clapon. Is that correct? Have I said that right? Correcto. Thank you. It's taken me four days to learn that word. <laughs> it's that one word. Can you say that again? Clapon. Wow. Wow me. So I'm going to clap myself here yeah. because it's taken me four days. <laughs> when you bite into that, that when you bite into clapon uh-huh. and it's tasting great, yum, yum, yum. And then the like brown sugar thing yeah. seeps into your cheeks. Yeah. There's no moment like it. Clapon, is it? Yeah, it's changing my life. It changed my life. Okay, sitting right in front of me tonight. Hello, Ooh. Becca. Yay! Welcome for the very first time in Prime Boards Radio Studio. Oh my gosh, it's my like debut. I'm feeling very honored. Yes, and you're looking stunning. Thank you. Can you tell the um, audience tonight what are you wearing, Becca? Okay, I'm wearing okay. like a red uh-huh. midi dress. I think we'd call yes. it okay. with some like embellished flowers all over it mm-hmm. from a brand called Steingoyer, who I love. Okay. And some shrimps for earrings. I don't know if that's a thing okay. in this country, but it is in my life. Okay. So tell me, why does shrimp is important in your life? I actually hate fish and I hate okay. shrimps. And I know that's not something that people will want to hear, uh-huh. but it's the truth. Okay. But my best friend in the world bought me these earrings and she just thought it was hilarious that they were like little shrimps. So, Is your zodiac a cancer? I am actually an Aries. Oh, Aries. I am. Okay. April baby. Hi, April baby. Yeah. Well, what date is it? 3rd of April. 3rd of April. Yeah, when's yours? 3rd of March. I'm a Pisces. <gasps> okay, we Hello. were close, but not close enough. Yep, just uh, one month of difference. Mm. It was just this so night. special. Yeah, so we were meant to be playing at a festival that got cancelled this week. Mm-hmm. And because we come all this way, okay. and the Han babies really wanted to be able to do something with their fans, mm-hmm. so they put on this very special intimate show. Okay. 100 people only. I think they announced it about 7 o'clock, uh-huh. and the show was kicked off at 8 30 okay and we just got to play a few songs and i joined them for our songs that we have together it was very special how was it that night how's the atmosphere it was gorgeous we mm. never ever get to play those kind of intimate shows mm. here and for me this is the first time i've been in indonesia since i released my own music as well okay so it was very precious to have something that's like a once in a lifetime exclusive thing that we yes. you know we've never done before uh-huh. um and people were so warm and so kind and singing all the words. And there really is no feeling like that in the world. Wow. Welcome to Indonesia. Yay. <laughs> we love it. Your, your second time, is it your third time? Third time third here. Time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now that you mentioned uh, you got a new EP called Your Skin. Yeah. Before we get there, uh, let, me, um, let me do a throwback a bit on your song Crying Over You featuring Han. Can you tell us the day one when this record was being made? How is it? How is Han... Um, go go after you so we had done a show for their album that was coming up Love Me Love Me Not and we did this sort of smaller show Okay. and after the show they kind of called me and they said look this is a song that you did at the show that we love and we would love to have you on the album version of that song okay. and at that time um, I just thought yeah it would be a nice idea and then we went into the studio and I you know absolutely adore the song okay. and it ended up being a lot more special than I think we thought it would wow Okay. Yeah. Before you, we're going to play uh, Crying Over You, is there anything you want to say to uh, the audience tonight that is the first time listening to this record? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel like if you've had love or lost love, this is a good song for your heart. Yeah, you'll find love when you least expect it. Great lyrics. <laughs> that is the main lyrics right there. So let's get you here. That is from Dickie, if you oh want to. Oh my gosh, yeah. Dickie. My face looks like I've just opened a Christmas present. I feel <laughs> so happy. Thank you for that very kind, kind message. Yes, another one would be from Daco. Here it is. Hey, good night, Becca. This is Daco right here. Uh, Welcome to Indonesia. And I don't even know what to say because... Because uh, I didn't know much about you, but welcome. I... I'm gonna search you after this. So good. Please do say anyway, hello. Anyway, hi again. <laughs> it's from Daco. Hi, Daco. Please say hello. I'd love that. Okay. This is your turn, Becca. Um, introduce yourself, please, to us. Oh what do you gosh. like? What What have you been eating here in Indonesia? What do you love about Indonesia? Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I am Becca. Mm-hmm. I am a huge fan of Indonesia. I think I should join the tourism board okay. and just be like an advocate for the country. Yeah. I feel... 
absolutely completely in love with it in a way that I hadn't had before mm-hmm. um, so I, I have to admit I'm a bit of a forgetful person when it comes to new words because okay. I am not bilingual in any way I feel very ashamed of it okay. however I did have some clapon is that correct have I said that right correcto thank you it's taken me four days to learn that <laughs> word it's that one word can you say that again clapon wow wow me so I'm going to clap myself here because yeah. it's taken me four days <laughs> when you bite into that that when you bite into clapon uh-huh. and it's tasting great yum 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 and then the like brown sugar thing yeah. seeps into your cheeks yeah. there's no moment like it clapon is it yeah it's changing my life it changed my life okay so much so that I remembered one Indonesian word so go me clapon okay now <laughs> Enough about Indonesia. Tell me about your hometown. It's holiday season, Becca. It is. Yeah. I'm from a place called Nottingham, but I live in London at the moment. Mm -hmm. And there is no place like London at Christmas. We get all these beautiful lights go up, much like you probably have here. Okay. Um, Everybody gets all cute and puts their Christmas tree up and Mm -hmm. prays for snow, which never happens. Okay. And we eat a lot of Sunday roasts. Do you know what I mean when I say that? What is that? A Sunday roast is like a very British meal. We have a thing called a Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding? Mm, It's like a little round sort of half moon, if you like. And you can pour gravy into it and it's made from flour and it's crispy and it's unbelievable. Wow. Roast potatoes, some veg. What else? It's just really delicious. Some gravy and we have it on a Sunday. You're making me hungry. Yeah, when you come to London, I will take you for a roast. And you should definitely come in winter because it's the best time for a roast dinner. Right on. So what is your favorite meal of all? Oh, it's got to be my mum's cooking. Okay. My mum is from the West Indies. She's from an island called St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay. And she makes the most incredible meat. Any kind wow. of meat. She just has that seasoning power, which uh-huh. I feel like over here you guys get the seasoning game. Yeah. In England, it's probably not our strength. But so my anything my mum cooks is okay. out of this world fantastic. Can you cook, Becca? I've got to be honest. <laughs> I, got I am you right not there. the best <laughs> cook. It is not my special skill. I can okay. clean. Okay. Oh my gosh, boy, okay. I can clean. Okay. Cooking, I have like two things I cook well. What is that? An English breakfast, mm-hmm. which is, you know, it's not easy, guys. <laughs> um, and I make fantastic toast. Right on. And maybe chicken. Oh, God. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's fun. an effort right there. Thank you. Uh, what is your favorite drink? Ooh, yeah. I am currently loving tea. I mean, I love okay. tea every day of my life. It's the best thing. Black tea with oat milk. Wow. Mm, and then the champagne also. Can I say that? Yes. Is that allowed? Sure, that's allowed. That's the truth. Yes. Something fizzy. Any brand that you would like to share with us that you Ooh. favor? Do you know what? I love a bit of Yorkshire tea. Okay. And you go to learn, if you go to England, you can go to a place called York. Uh-huh. And they do this amazing tea called Yorkshire tea. And it's just my favorite all-time brand. Yorkshire tea, okay. Mm. So between coffee and tea, you're a tea person, right? Always, every day. Right on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I got a list from your EP. Which song do you want to be played next? Oh my goodness. Uh, we got a uh, Your Skin, we got You Got, we got Thorn. Which one would it be, Becca? I feel like we should go for You Got. You Got, okay. What is your favorite part about the song before I press play on anybody that is the first time listening to this record? Oh my gosh. I wrote this song as sort of my my letter to people to say mm-hmm. that they are fire. Like they're incredible. And this okay. was if if I die tonight by some horrible stroke of stuff, okay. this is kind of everything I'd want to leave in the world. Just to remind you that, you know, you are a queen and you are incredible. This is your legacy in a song. Thank you. You said it perfectly. You got Becca tonight. So, Becca, what was the night on Lala Fest was like? Oh, it was absolutely wild. It was amazing. It was the first time we'd ever played in a forest, okay. or at least I had ever played in a forest. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if we'd had a crowd like that before. Uh-huh. So it was one of those very special emotional nights. And also, I have to let you in on a little secret within our gang what that we that? often refer back to this night uh-huh. because it took us three hours to leave the the plot of land that we were on it was so funny crazy because there were just so many people leaving at the same time uh-huh. and so we were in the car just walking with the crowd going at the same pace as a human being um, and I was having the t- time of my life waving at people through the window but they couldn't see me because it was blacked out <laughs> for three hours three hours can you imagine that I cannot imagine that. I think people nearly wet themselves, actually. That was the main issue. Yeah. A lot Did of you? accidents. Not me, because I have the bladder of a horse, but everyone else is not as strong or fantastic as me, so... <laughs> 
I jest. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we got somebody uh, from Hamburg, is it? We got oh. Vien. Shout out to the fellow of the holiday fan. I love that movie too, and the movie score is beautiful. Who is Becca's favorite character and favorite scene in the movie? Mine are Iris and Arthur. Favorite scene when Amanda visited Graham and they played in the tan with the kids. Oh my god. There you go. I feel like someone's just spoken to my soul right there. It, the movie score is actually why I think I love the film so much because it's Hans Zimmer and he is my favorite composer in the world. Yeah. Hans Zimmer is the, best. the goat. The goat. Um, my fa- one of my favorite scenes is when, yeah, Iris and Arthur get the award mm-hmm. and he does his little walk up to the stage. It mm-hmm. makes me cry every time because old people are fantastic and cute. Um, maybe my favorite character is, do you know what? It's Iris. Iris. She's been through a lot. She's not had the easiest time. And she comes out on top like a queen. There you go. Vienne in Hamburg, if you want to mention her. Vienne, I mean, thank you. I feel like we're close friends right now. You've just spoken to my soul. Please come and say hi on Instagram. It'd be fantastic. Yeah. Instagram is uh, Becca on Toast. <laughs> and some girl in Milwaukee called Sally. Oh my God, The Proposal is my favorite movie ever. Yes. I feel less alone. Thank you, Sally. <laughs> Have you been to Milwaukee? I don't think I ever have, no. Okay, USA. Where have you been in USA? Ooh, so New York, LA, Mm -hmm. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many places and then they just leave you so fast. (laughs) 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 Have I become, am I losing my mind? Um, I love the US actually. Okay. From Washington Mm -hmm. to Seattle, you know, everywhere is fascinating. Great. How about your UK tour, Becca? Yeah. Uh Oh my gosh. What was it? So it was absolutely incredible. It was okay. definitely the highlight of my year. Okay. I spent most of the year supporting Han on their tour, so opening for their shows, which mm-hmm. has been amazing and mm-hmm. kind of first time for me with them. Um, and we've done the US, we did Australia and New Zealand, okay. but then came back and I think to do, oh, we also did the UK, but to do my own show, series of shows across the country that I'm from was absolutely wild because the first night I came out in a place called Bristol, Bristol. and I had no idea that the room would be so packed it was sold out but I kind of hadn't really soaked in what that would feel like congratulations and to see people you know singing my songs louder than me Uh was just crazy it's like something I'll never forget what did you learn about yourself new stuff from your UK tour oh yeah Yeah. I think I learned how much I care about team dynamics Mm -hmm. I feel very sensitive to how my team are doing and whether people are happy Mm -hmm. because I think when you do music it's really easy to just try and get the job done Mm -hmm. but a touring experience is so much more than the show um, and I think I also probably learned that I'm, I'm more emotional than I knew. <laughs> and I thought I was quite emotional. But I was very deeply moved by mm. what it was like to have people stay after a show to chat. Um, yeah. And I, I mean, I love a chat. I see you, Becca. Mm-hmm. You are the first person in this uh, 210 night who just say hi to Sharon and talk to her. Are you joking me? <laughs> the Sharon. The first that person to talk to... Th- Sharon... <laughs> From what I'm seeing, yeah. is the goat the goat in this studio? Is she that, is. Is that allowed? Or can I say that? She is. She is. Feels I like am. there would be no edit without Sharon, <laughs> right? So thank you for doing that, Becca. <laughs> Bless you, Becca. What will you do for the holidays? Oh, this mm-hmm. year is a bit of a controversial one. Yeah. I'm gonna. I don't even know if some of my family know this. Okay. Me and my husband Jordan. Okay. We have been married for like nine years, wow. and every year we kind of we make the family plan, mm-hmm. and everyone kind of agrees. Um, and we take responsibility. But this year we are just gonna pretend like we are 19 years old, and we are gonna go out on Christmas Day for food, probably with just our mums. Okay. My brother-in-laws, if they're listening, are gonna be so annoyed right now. Um, and we're gonna. I would just want to drink champagne. I want to wear something fabulous. I want to find Santa. That's what I want to do this year. <laughs> Santa and baby. Maybe even buy myself some gifts. You know. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. It's really the opposite of the giving and loving heart you meant to have at Christmas, but just for one year, you know. Beautiful story. <laughs> Say hi to Jordan for me. Say hi to the family. Oh, I really will. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna leave you with. Uh, your last song, a remix by Joe Turner. Oh. Now, before uh, I played you this record, who is Joe Turner? Joe Turner actually is a really dear friend. He was the person who produced um, You Got. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he's he's a really great friend of mine. And okay. we got him to do this remix um, for this EP. Okay. Which was, yeah, very fun. I feel very, very lucky to get to work with him. 
Right on. I'm going to press play on it. But before that, can you say uh, bye-bye to uh, Night Shifters tonight? Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been like the joy of my life. Thank you mm-hmm. so much for having me. Shout out to everyone in the studio. Love you. Shout out to Prambas. You're fantastic. And to everyone listening. Love you guys. You're amazing. I appreciate you. Happy holidays, Becca. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bye.